Glory be to Jesus. Thank God for another day again. The day that the Lord has made that we should rejoice and be glad in it. I'm so honored to bring the word of God to you this morning on the glorious morning server. And I believe God is blessing you. God is using this platform to make you be rich. Ensuring that you don't just enter into the day anyhow. We are concentrating on the word. God give us the privilege to expand this vision to where God wants us to be. We bring in a section of prayer. We just share the word. What prayer does in the life of a man to command that glorious day. And because of that, the word for your shower this morning is the power of prayer. And our focus is engaging in prayer that transcend denominational barriers. Prayers that goes beyond your denomination. Not church bound, but spirit bound. That encounter of that woman with Jesus, Jesus told her, He said, A time is coming, and now is that time where those that worship don't just worship in a location anymore, not just worship in a gathering anymore in the spirit that is why i say not location bound but spirit bound and that's our focus that your prayer shouldn't be only when they say prayer meeting it's not there is nothing called hour of prayer spirit prays always and our bible reading today is from the book of james chapter 5 verse 16 Say, confess your fault one to another and pray one for another and ye may be healed. The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man and be led much. The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man and be led much. Now, prayer is one of the most powerful tools that God has given us. A direct line of communication with Him that transcends all human barriers, including denominational differences. The Bible tells us that the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. The meaning of this is that sincere, heartfelt prayer. That scripture, effectual, means sincere. Heartfelt prayer, not, not prayer based on what the prayer coordinator is dishing on the pulpit. Yes, what is doing, what the aim of that man telling you stories on the pulpit and say, let us pray. Beloved, let's pray this, pray that. For example, this happened to this. I read in the Bible. Those things he's trying to say is to ensure that your prayer gets sincere. It's not a drama. It's to ensure that your prayer is from your heart. He said, such prayer has great power. If you read that scripture from NIV translation, they tell you that availed much means it has great power and produces wonderful results. So you now ask yourself, could it be that because your prayers are not effectual, they are not fervent, could that be the reason why your prayers are not producing results? Now, he didn't say the prayer of a pastor or a priest is a, is a righteous man. So what do you do? If you become righteous, you don't need a prayer of a pastor. And we need to teach this to the body of Christ. I have been doing that in my own small gathering there. I don't want to be a superhero anywhere. There are people trooping. I don't encourage that. When we have prayed generally in the congregation, we have taught them how to pray. Some people still want to come privately to see. And when you begin to hear their stories, there is nothing you can do. You are not God. 
We have taught you how to relate with God. He didn't say, I will give you a pastor who will pray over you. Jeremiah 15 verse 3. So I've given you a pastor after my own heart who will teach you knowledge and understanding. And that is why he say, knowledge, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. That is the only why, reason why we are destroyed, not because of devil. And the, the devil wants to destroy you, he goes after your knowledge. And that is why we keep equipping you with enough knowledge and prayer. So make your prayer fervent. Make it sincere. Make your prayer effectual. Make it heartfelt. Then it will produce great and wonderful result. That's what God is trying to let you know. The power of prayer. It goes beyond denomination. It goes beyond gathering. It can be done in your home. It can be done on your way traveling. It can be done in your office. It can be done on the farm. Just make sure it is effectual. In prayer, we acknowledge our dependence on God. We seek His guidance and intercede for others. It is in prayer that we experience God's presence, find His peace, and receive strength to face life challenges. Whether we pray alone or in a group, in a church or at home, the power of prayer remain, remains the same. It is our lifeline to God. So as we engage in prayer, it is essential to remember that it is not about the eloquency of the right words, but about the condition of our heart. God hears the simple, honest prayer of his children, regardless of their denominational affiliation, when we pray with faith and humility, God moves in ways that we moves in way that are beyond our understanding, bringing healing, provisions, and breakthrough to us. That's what I want God to do for you this morning on the glorious morning shower. Our story today is about Marianne. Marianne grew up in a strict religious environment where denominational differences were emphasized. She was taught that her way of prayer was the only correct way and she often viewed other Christians with skepticism. However, as she grew older and her faith deepened, Maria began to question this mindset. She realized that while her denomination had its own traditions, the essence of prayer was the same for all, all believers communion with God. Her perspective began to change when she attended a community prayer gathering that included Christians from various denominations. At first, she felt uncomfortable and out of place. But as the prayer began, something remarkable happened. She sensed the presence of God in a powerful way, despite the difference in how people pray. The prayer of others touched her heart and she found herself moved to tears by the sincerity and passion of believers from other traditions. That's what I'm talking about. If you see mountain of fire, the way they pray with vigor. When you see deeper life, the way they pray in a very quiet way. You see, they are, you know, we are different. But there should be a place that teaches us the fact that we are one irrespective of our different religious affiliation. And that's what God wants to do this month on the glorious morning shower. That your relationship with God will go beyond your religion. This man is not kneeling down praying. You are kneeling down praying. The other one is lying down on the floor and you are not lying down on the floor. That does not mean that your prayer or his prayer kneeling down will be heard fast, faster than yours. God hears all of us, irrespective of our religions and background, irrespective of our doctrines. And I pray in the name of Jesus on the glorious morning shower today that the real power of prayer be felt, felt in your prayer today. Make that prayer today and let the power that goes behind, that, behind prayer go with you in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you on the glorious morning shower. It is a new day. It is going to be your day. Amen.